In the previous video, I showed you how you could apply motion capture to your, uh, your character that has been rigged either using the quick rig solution or the human IK uh, solution. So here we have the character and the character is uh, doing a flip. What I want to show you in this video is how you can do a very quick and easy render of your character so that you actually have a video file of this. Now, there are more advanced ways to uh, rig, but what we're going to be looking at is a very simple solution called a play blast. So, um, first thing I would do is set the size for my video. And to do that, I am going to go to my render settings found here. And I am going to select from the presets the 720, uh, HD 720 uh, setting, which will render out a video at uh, 1280 pixels uh, width and 720 height. And I will close. The other thing is I actually don't know where the borders are for my render. So uh, to figure that out, I'm going to click on this button here in my viewport, which will show me the actual borders of my render. And then this will allow me to position it, scrub in my timeline, make sure nothing gets cut out, make sure that it is uh, in a scene that is well composed. I think this looks good. Nothing's getting cut out. So we'll render it from there. Uh, the second thing I'd like to do actually is figure out what uh, number of frames I want to render out. So you can see that if I scrub in my timeline, uh, once I get past, oh, frame, looks like around frame 124 or so, uh, there is no longer any movement in there, so it doesn't make any sense necessarily to uh, render beyond that. So I'm going to set my timeline here. I'm going to set it to uh, 124. So when we render it out, this is what we'll get. couple other things. I have already put a light in my scene, so I'm going to press 7. If you have the uh, grid showing like this, I would hide the grid uh, because, in fact, a play blast is going to more or less render exactly what you see in your viewport. So I don't want to see these joints. I do not want to see the grid. So I'm going to go to Show, None, and then Show, polygons so that I'm only seeing polygons in my in my scene here and I'll also go to show and hide the grid like that. Now once you've determined the borders of your render here I recommend going back to uh, this button here and clicking on it uh, so that you actually don't see the borders here because it's going to render them. It looks like I'm going to need to click this other button as well, this one here. We've set the borders, uh, so now we can go ahead and create our play blast. So to create the play blast, what I'm going to do is right click in my timeline here. Go to play blast and open up its tool settings found here. We'll look at a couple different settings here. Uh, let me go ahead and reset this so that it's back to its default settings, more like what you will probably see when you initially try to create a play blast. And I'll show you some of the settings I would change. So one setting I would change would be this one here. We're gonna leave this at format AVI. Uh, we can keep the quality at the default of 70 for now. The display size is set at from window. You'll get better results if you select from render settings. That will take the render settings that we applied earlier uh, 
when we went to the render settings, the, the size of our render, in other words. Another setting I would change would be this one, scale. It's at 50%, so it's actually only going to render it out, out at half the size. So I'm going to scrub this all the way over here so that it scales it at 100%. One, in other words. Another setting I would change would be this one here where it says save to file. I'm going to click on that so that it will actually save it as a file. And I'm going to click on the browse button and tell it where to save my video. Uh, to keep this easy, I'm going to go ahead and just save it to my, de my desktop. And I'll call this flip. I'll click on save. And now I'm ready to create my Play Blast. And to do so, I can either hit the Play Blast button or Apply. And here it is. Here is my video render. So now that I've created this video file, I'm going to go ahead and close it and go to my desktop where I saved it to, and we'll take a look at it there. So here we are on my desktop. Here is the video that I saved. Uh, I can open it up by clicking, right-clicking on it, open with Windows Media Player. Uh, we can take a look at it. It plays just fine. Uh, but one thing I'd like you to take note of is the actual size of this render. So if I right-click on it and go to Properties, uh, you'll see that this is a very large file, especially for as short a video as it is. It is 329 megs, which is quite large. I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to uh, bring down the file size of this video while maintaining a good quality. So if you're using Windows 10 as I am here, uh, there's a program that comes free with the operating system called Video Editor. And I'm going to open up Video Editor and I'm going to start a new video project. I'll give it a name. In this case, I'll just call it Flip. And I'm going to add that video that I just saved. Here it is. I'll open that up. And I'm going to drag this video into my storyboard. And now, well, we can play it beforehand, just make sure everything looks OK. And now I'm going to click on Finish Video. I'll keep the video quality on high, export, and we'll tell it where to save it to. I'll go ahead and just uh, keep the same name, Flip, and I'll export it out. And it's completed. Let's go back to the desktop and check it out. So here's my new flip video. Uh, let's compare these two. This one, the original one, is 329 megs. This one, on the other hand, is only 927 kilobytes, so it's considerably smaller. Let's go ahead and open it up and, and take a look at it. Also notice it is actually an MP4 file uh, where the original one that I created as a Play Blast is an AVI. So we'll take a look at this MP4. Once again, I'll open it up using Windows Media Player. And here it is. So one thing I'd just like to stress before wrapping up this video is that if you are giving me 
uh, video files, if you're submitting uh, video files to me through Moodle, I really do need you to compress them. Uh, notice that if I go to my desktop here, we can take a look at the two flip uh, videos that we have here. The one is an AVI and it's quite large as you can, as you can see here. Uh, this other flip, which is an MP4, looks quite good, but the file size is considerably smaller, which will make it much easier for me to uh, download. It'll also make it easier for you to upload. So I hope that this video has been informative for you, and thank you for watching.